Nigeria, the largest economy in Africa, with a nominal GDP of $440.78 billion, a multinational state inhabited by more than 250 ethnic groups, speaking 500 distinct languages, all identifying with a wide range of varieties of culture, is home to a plethora of very, very rich people. In this video, we present to you the richest people from each state in Nigeria. Sokoto State, Ahmed Dasuki. He is the chairman of 5th Chaka Polo and Country Club in Nigeria, Anna, where he currently resides. A former board member of Stambic IBTC Holding Company, he owns 0.75% stake in MTN Nigeria, a stake worth in the region of $50 million. His net worth is estimated at $250 million. Aliu Jelani he is currently Nigeria's Director General of National Automotive Design and Development Council, a world-class automotive designer who worked for the American car company General Motors for over 15 years. At General Motors, he worked on Buick Rendezvous, the Oldsmobile Bravada and the Astra with General Motors' Opel division. He was the lead exterior design of the Pontiac G6 and the Chevrolet Volt. His net worth is estimated at $100 million. Muhammadu Saad Abubakar is the 20th Sultan of Sokoto and one of the most powerful persons in Nigeria. He is considered the spiritual leader of Nigeria's 98.7 million Muslims, who account for roughly 50% of the nation's population. He is the one to decide when to celebrate Muslim festivals in Nigeria. Unless he declares a day for celebration, no one can go on to celebrate in the whole of the country. His net worth is estimated at $100 million. Araba State Theophilos Danjuma He is a billionaire in any world currency. A retired Nigerian Army Lieutenant General who was the Chief of Army Staff from July 1975 to October 1979. He is the founder of Nal Comet Group, one of the most successful indigenous shipping agencies and terminal operators in Nigeria. He is also the founder of South Atlantic Petroleum Limited, an oil exploration and production company. His company, Now Comment, in 2005 became the largest independent port operator in Africa after acquiring a rolling rollout port in Lagos. His company, Sepetro, acquired the oil processing license 246 in 1998 and the oil mining license 130 in 2005, making it one of the country's largest oil producers. A philanthropist who pledged $100 million to alleviate poverty in Nigerian communities through his T.Y. Danjumai Foundation. His net worth is estimated at $1.2 billion. Chigawa State Nasiru Aladu Danu, a top player in the oil and gas sector in Nigeria. He is the chairman and CEO of Kasiva Limited, a company listed among the 15 consortia companies awarded the 2019-2022 contracts for the exchange of crude oil for imported petroleum products by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NNPC. The company was also in 2016 awarded a contract for the provision of pipeline security and maintenance services along Kaduna Kano and Zaria Gusu segment. His net worth is estimated at $180 million. Isa Mohamed Gerawa he is the founder and chairman of Garawa Group of Companies. In 2018, he invested $50 million to build the Garawa Oil Mill Factory, the biggest single oil mill in West Africa with a production capacity of 1,200 tons per day. In 2021, he invested $30 million to build a 420 metric tons per day mega rice mill in Kano. At the commissioning of the mill in February 2022, he was already laying the foundation of an additional 560 metric tons per day mega rice mill worth $50 million. His net worth is estimated at $200 million. Boronu Street Mohamed Indini listed in Forbes to have a net worth of $500 million in 2015. He is the founder and chairman of Oriental Energy Resources, a Nigerian oil exploration and production company with assets like Oil Prospecting License OPL224, Oil Mining License OML67 and OML115. His net worth is estimated at $850 million. 
Zana Maideribe. She's the eldest son of the late Maideribe. The father was considered as one of the richest Nigerians during his time. He spent roughly $100 million to build a house made from a mixture of liquid gold and own a customized Gulfstream G550 private jet. The building, Deribe Palace, caught the world's attention and hosted some powerful world leaders like Prince Charles and his late wife, Princess Diana, and most notably, former US President George Washington Bush. Zana Deribe was the real OBO in the 80s. He became the managing director of his father's group of companies at the tender age of 20, where he managed his father's companies and vast investments. He is the former chairman of Cavendish Petroleum, the company that operated the oil mining license OML110 for 20 years. His net worth is estimated at $200 million. Ibrahim Bunu he is an architect who served as the Minister of FCT from 1999 to 2001. He designed the NNPC Tower in Abuja. He presides as the chairman of Optimum Petroleum, which operates the oil processing license OPL310. His net worth is estimated at $80 million. Eboni State David Umahi Currently serves as the governor of Eboni State, co-founder Norman Engineering and Construction Nigeria Limited, and served as its general manager until 1993. He's also the founder of Brass Engineering and Construction, Focus Investment, and Osborne La Palm Royal Resort Limited. His net worth is estimated at $118 million. Ifai Odi. He is the founder and chairman of Orient Global Group and also the president and CEO of Ultimus Holdings, owners of The Classroom by Ultimus and Viremore Healthcare. He is the 2023 gubernatorial candidate of the People's Democratic Party in Ebony State. His net worth is estimated at $80 million. Adamawa State Atiku Abubakar the former vice president of Nigeria is one of the few politicians who has made this list due to his business forays. In 2014, Atiku, in a series of tweets, revealed he is the largest private employer of labor in Nigeria and claimed he currently employs about 50,000 in his company in Nigeria. The PDP presidential candidate for the 2023 election has investments in media, shipping, education and other sectors. His companies include Intel's, Prodeco, Atiku Farms, and Abati Schools. His net worth is estimated at $1.5 billion. <music> Abdullahi Bashir Haske is the founder and GMD of AAMR Investments Group. He's one of the youngest billionaires in Nigeria at the age of 38. His company, Etihad Oil Field Services, was credited with finding oil in Kolmani River area of Bauchi State. He reportedly owns 51% stake in the four oil blocks recovered from Adax Petroleum, OML123, OML124, OML126 and OML137. His net worth is estimated at $250 million. Niger State Sani Bello, a former military governor of Old Kano State and father of incumbent Niger State Governor. He is the founder of Amni International Petroleum Development Company with assets like Oil Manning License 52, OML112 and OML117. Amni also holds an 85% working interest in the Central Tano Oil Block in Ghana. His net worth is estimated at $1 billion. Gombe State Dr. Jamil Ishaku Gwamna, the Sadauna of Gombe, is the MD of Sahelian Energy, a company which owns 50% shares in Kedco. He is also the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Kano Electricity Distribution Company, Kedco. His net worth is estimated at $85 million. Enugu State Peter Ndubisi Mba, a maritime lawyer, he is the Founder and Chief Executive Officer of Pinnacle Oil & Gas. The company that recently completed the development of the $1 billion Pinnacle Oil Ultramodern Petroleum Terminal with single point monitoring, a conventional boy mooring, and storage facilities in Lekki Free Trade Zone. Mba is also the sole agent of International Oil Cooperation. He is the 2023 governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party in Enugu State. His net worth is estimated at $350 million. 
Samuel Maduka Onyeshi is the founder of Peace Group of Companies, the owner of Peace Mass Transit with over 4,000 fleets of vehicles, a non-executive director of May & Baker Nigeria. In 2021, he acquired Actis's share in C&I leasing through his company Peace Mass Transit to own majority stock worth 55.82% of the company's shares. His net worth is estimated at $300 million. Ndubi C. Charles Mba. He is the Chief Executive Officer of CDV Properties and Development Limited. He is the Sun Newspaper's Investor of the Year 2022, a real estate magnet with estates spread across Lekki and Barrens. Some of his prized assets include CDV Mini Estate, White Oak Estate, Salt Lake Homes Phase 1, 2, and 3, Diang Terraces, and Applewood Estates. He's also the owner of Jason's Tender Care Schools in Lagos. His net worth is estimated at $250 million. <music> Nasarawa State Umaru Tanko Almakura He is the founder of Almakura Nigeria Limited, a company importing and servicing agricultural and industrial machinery. A real estate mogul and owner and chairman of Taal Nigeria Limited, with properties in Abuja, Lagos, Kano and Washington DC. He owns Ta'al Lake Resort, Abuja and Ta'al Conference Hotel, Lafia. His net worth is estimated at $300 million. <music> Castina States Dahiru Mangal He is the founder of Max Air, one of Nigeria's leading airlines operating a domestic, regional and international flight network. Mangal raked in 11.8 billion naira after selling his Owando shares to Leaf Investments and Realtors in 2021. His company, Mangal Industries, is currently constructing a 3 million metric tons per day cement plant and 50 megawatts plant in Moba, Kogi State, a project valued at $600 million. His net worth is estimated at $750 million. Umaru Abdul Mutalab He is the chairman of Jai's Bank, Nigeria's first Islamic bank. He played a major role in introducing Islamic banking into Nigeria. He was the chairman of the business working group of the Vision 2020-20 committee in Nigeria. He was also Nigeria's former Minister of Economic Development in 1975 and of Cooperatives and Supplies in 1976. He was a former chairman of First Bank of Nigeria and managing director, chief executive officer of the United Bank for Africa. He is the CEO of Mutalab Group, a Nigerian conglomerate. His net worth is estimated at $400 million. Kaduna State Ishaya Shekari He is the military governor of Kanu State from September 1978 to October 1979. A former director of Diamond Bank and the former chairman of Lion Bank of Nigeria. Ishaya is the chairman of the board of Integrated Diary, Mary Stem Security, Tenti Greens, Farm Fresh Products, Green Cereals and Megami Holdings Limited. His net worth is estimated at $250 million. Cross River State Fifi Ekanem Ejindu She is the founder and CEO of Starcrest Group and Building Support Systems with interest in real estate, oil and gas and building construction. She is also the founder of the African Arts and Fashion Initiative. She is regarded as one of the leading female architects in Nigeria. She is the grand patron of the prestigious Icons Club of Dubai. Her net worth is estimated at $270 million. John Ube He is the CEO of MultiChoice Nigeria and Chairman of the Broadcasting Organization of Nigeria. He is also the former General Manager of MWeb Nigeria. He led MultiChoice Nigeria to generate $475.5 million in revenue in 2021 alone. His net worth is estimated at $90 million. Abia State RG Uzor Kalu. He is the chairman of Slock Holding, a conglomerate with interest in shipping, banking, oil trading, manufacturing, and the media. He stewarded Nigeria's commercial relations with China's Sino Pacific and shipbuilding company. On the Slock, he owns the Daily Sun newspaper, the New Telegraph newspaper, and also the Slock Airlines, amongst others. The only Nigerian politician to be listed on Forbes with a net worth of $1 billion in 2014. He was a former governor of Abia State and was currently re-elected as the Senator of Abia North under the APC canopy in the 2023 general election. 
his net worth is estimated at $1.1 billion. Alex Oti he is the former Group Managing Director of Diamond Bank PLC and has served on the board of several companies. He is also a former Assistant General Manager at UBA and First Bank Nigeria. He recently launched his own bank, the Signature Bank. His net worth is estimated at $250 million. Inkechi Obi, she is the Founder and Group Managing Director, CEO of Techno Oil Limited. Nigeria's foremost oil and gas company with businesses and products like fuel and gas stations, lubricant oil, liquefied petroleum gas and cylinder manufacturing amongst others. The company built a landmark 8,400 ton capacity LPG coastal terminal at the Kirikiri in Apapa, Lagos in 2020. Her net worth is estimated at $200 million. Uche Oga he is the president of Master Energy Group with interest in oil trading supplies, gas services and oil services. Products like Master Gas Cylinders, Master Lubricants and Master Instant Noodles. He is the current Minister of State for Mines and Steel Development. His net worth is estimated at $180 million. Emo State Pascal G. Dozier he is the founder of Diamond Bank, a chairman of Pan Atlantic University, a former president of the Nigerian Stock Exchange and a former chairman of MTN Nigeria from 2001 to 2019. He owns 1.6% stake in MTN Nigeria, a stake currently valued at $148.5 million. His net worth is estimated at $1 billion. Sam Iwu Ajoku the king of private jet business in Nigeria is the chairman and CEO of Quits Aviation Services, the owner of ExecuJet, which operates a 275,000 square foot facility in a free trade zone near the International Airport in Lagos. He also owns Legend Hotel, a five-star hotel managed by Hilton, located within the Muratala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos. His net worth is estimated at $350 million. Felix Idiaga is the chairman and CEO of Jaffa Group of Companies with interest in aviation and flight chattering, oil and gas, agriculture, dredging and construction and hospitality. His net worth is estimated at $240 million. Tony Ezena, he was the founder of Orange Drugs Nigeria with products like Procold, Medic 55, Laris, Passion Energy Drink, Delta Soap, Tempovate Cream, Guardia Mosquito Repellent Cream, Ultratone Cream amongst others. His net worth is estimated at $200 million.